Hey, you guys. It's December 18th. Now, seven days. We have seven days until Christmas. This is unreal. You did you have to do that math? Because I don't have Hans to tell me here. Hans Gruber. But I do know it's the 18th. Let's look at our advent calendar book. Let's go to the number 18 and see what's in store for us today. All right, number 18 has a delicious pepperminty fresh candy cane. All right, you guys, let's see what this is all about because sometimes these pictures are misleading. Like I have no idea. There's my mom's note. Thank you for the memories, mommy. So we had done chocolate gingerbread bars, which no, no, we didn't do that, but we did read the Gingerbread Man book, which was lovely. Tonight on page 34 in this book is the Hide and Sing. I don't know what that entails, and we'll just have to see. Oh, page 34. All right, so it has a picture of this family kind of sitting around. That's a beautiful family and a big one at that. Lots of kids and two parents. And it looks like, hmm, all right, let's just see what it says. The hide and sing. This irresistibly fun singing game for the whole family is a festive version of the game Hot and Cold. First, get the family together to choose a few Christmas carols that everybody knows. Let each family member take a turn being it. It leaves the room for a few minutes. The other family members choose a hiding spot for a candy cane, home-baked cookie, or a tiny gift. In this case, we're going to do candy cane. Then it is called back into the room. And as that person enters the room, the other family members softly sing a Christmas carol. So like, like for example, Jinity jing e ah e ah, it's Dominic the donkey. Jinity jing e ah e ah, the Italian Christmas donkey. So softly sing that. But as they get closer to that hidden candy cane, everybody has to sing more loudly. So if they move further away from the candy cane, you gotta get real quiet. But if they get really close to the candy cane, you have to be really loud. And once they find it, they win. So it's kind of cool. Um. It's just us, you guys. I don't know really how to do this game, but what I did is I hid a candy cane in this room that I have here, and I'm just gonna kind of go around and try to find it with you guys. Not too much singing. I mean, I, I guess we could, I, I, maybe I'll look back, at, hold on. I'll look back in the book at some carols that they had here. We did Deck the Halls. Let me see, let me go to Deck the Halls and I'll sing that one. Aha, uh -huh, Deck the Halls. Okay, so we'll, maybe we'll go around with Deck the Halls. All right, let's see. I'm bringing you with me. Here we go. Oops, be careful. Okay, let's start in this corner. All right, is it here? Deck the Halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. What is it? Don we now are gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol, fa la 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 la. See the blazing Yule before us, fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure, fa la 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 la. What's the next one? Oh. While I tell of Yuletide treasure, fa la 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 la. Look who has my candy cane, Sergio! It's in your mouth. My big nutcracker has the candy cane hidden in his mouth. Check this out. Let me pop that out. Get out of here. That's mine. Close your mouth. There we go. So that's how you can play the game. Not as fun when you're by yourself, but that's okay. Maybe next time I can play with my family. All right. So, we're back at the table. Oops, you know what, that light's a little too bright. That's my favorite light, but it's too bright. So, now that we're back at the table, let's do December 18th in my advent calendar that I fixed. And I wanna bring your attention to 
what's in there right now. Another ornament, and it's so pretty. It's little, it's busting out of this box right now. So let me show you what it is. For no, day number 18, this is an ornament of one of my favorite, favorite flowers that I get to grow during the Christmas season. This year I haven't done it. This year is like one of the few years that I didn't grow an amaryllis plant. The first time I grew an amaryllis plant, it's so gorgeous, you guys. I had gone to Amsterdam with my friend Jen. She was living in Italy at the time. I was living in Northern Spain and we both met in Amsterdam and I got an amaryllis bulb and I was able to grow it in my apartment in Northern Spain and I loved it and I love to do it every year. So check this out, this gorgeous ornament of an amaryllis plant. I hope that you guys can see one in real life because they're beautiful. But it reminds me, there's another type, hey, why is it blurry? There's another type of Christmas plant that's super important to show you guys too. Now this one is called a poinsettia. So every year, usually my family gets a red poinsettia. Sometimes they're white. I think even sometimes they're pink, but this red with the green is so Christmassy. It's called a poinsettia. Now this one I got from my work holiday party and I was so happy to win it because look how beautiful it still is. That was a couple of weeks ago already. And I just keep it on my beautiful tray. Check that out. Super old school yet super groovy tray from my friend Claire. Oh, she's so creative. So I keep it on there and I've got the Christmas spirit going in my house. So instead of an amaryllis like my ornament, I have a poinsettia. And there is one more plant I'm gonna go grab really quickly for you guys. <gasps> Check this out. Now this is a Grecian bust, but inside is my Christmas cactus. Check this out. So normally the Christmas cactus blooms at this time of year. It has really pretty flowers. I may have killed this. I'm not entirely sure, but it kind of looks, it looks like it's still living, but it hasn't bloomed. So I'm not sure what happened, but I love how it's in this little, <laughs> this little head <laughs> that I have and it looks like it's hair. Now I got this Christmas cactus at my friend Kelsey's baby shower last year, a whole year ago in December, um, before she gave birth to her son. And he is marvelous. So I love having this still with me. It reminds me of my friend Kelsey and her son. So that's all I have for today in terms of plants in my house. And I hope you had a wonderful December 18th and continue to have one. Have a great night. See you next time.